Namaskaram Sadhguru. Sadhguru, uh, you said that uh, it's important to keep the spine erect on Mahashivaratri, but uh, I haven't come across this in any scriptures. <laughs> so, where is this coming from? Oh, from my spine. <laughs> well, uh, how many scriptures have you read? I do not know. But just for your information, in this culture, in this civilization, there are hundreds of sacred books. Why hundreds? There are thousands of them. Thousands more were burned down, but still there are thousands of them. I do not know which one you read. There are cultures where they have only one book and they go by that. But here, because there are thousands, nobody has read everything. But I read a book which is a wordless book, which is within me. And uh, because of this, instead of became, becoming educated, I chose to become enlightened. But what you want to become is always your choice, of course. But whatever may be written in the books, there is no book in the universe which contains everything. It cannot be. But whatever may be written there, how each individual perceives it and what falls out of it for them, is very different. I hope it's okay, I'll tell you a little story. Can I tell you a little story? No, I'm asking because many of you little babies, if I say once upon a time, you think it's bedtime. Today there is no bedtime, do you understand? There was a little boy in Tennessee, where our Inner Sciences Institute is there, a eight-year-old boy, he was sent from this small town in rural Tennessee to a, a good school, a boarding school in East Coast and he came back for summer vacations. He's just learned to read, so he wants to flip every book that he sees. And there was a family Bible. Normally these family Bibles are big affair, heavy books. So he was trying to flip through that. As he was doing this, a leaf which was kept inside the book for a long time, a dry leaf, fell out of the book. He looked at this and screamed, Mama, Mama, come and see what I found. His mother was in the kitchen, she asked, what have you found, my son? No, you come and see what I got. She came running to see what. Then she asked, what is it? He pointed at the leaf and said, I found Adam's underwear. So we don't know what you got out of the scripture that you read. So everybody gets their own stuff. <laughs> See, if you were a donkey, I would not ask you to keep your spine erect. Nothing wrong with a donkey, just differently abled. It is strong, it is stoic and it's pretty too, but it cannot notice what courses through its spine. It has a stronger spine than me, it can take much more load and very useful. At one time Indian army dismantled battle tanks and carried it on a donkey's back, a mule rather, and took it up the mountain and surprised the opponents in the battle, having ta tanks on top of the mountain, thanks to the donkeys. So donkeys can do many things, but they don't have the sensitivity to notice what is happening in their spine because they are horizontal, they are destined to be horizontal. A whole civilization has elegized this night and talked about variety of benefits that one derives. 
Just stay awake, stay erect, much benefit will come your way. Anything that you do not know, if you assume that it cannot exist, whatever I do not know cannot exist in this world, it means you are wearing the crown of ignorance. It is unfortunately, this is true in the world today, with no disrespect to anybody, I'm just talking about the ways of the world. If you read three books, you can become a school teacher. If you read ten books, you can become a professor in a university. If you read just one book, you can become an agent of God. I don't belong to this category because uh, this is a wordless book. But this book was written by the creator himself, you can't dispute that. If you learn to read that, you would know many, many more things about life. And simplistic minds will understand life this way. Only if I lose what I already possess, it's a loss. No. If you failed to strive to fulfill the possibilities that you hold, that is a terrible loss. You did not explore the full depth and dimension of what a human being can be, that is a loss. If you think only what you possess is gone, that is a loss. It's an unfortunate way to exist because what you possess is puny little nothing. Oh, uh, well, you might have read scriptures but you may have evolutionary issues. But even if you have evolutionary issues of keeping your spine erect, today I'm telling you, strive to stay awake and erect. In spite of all its virtues, don't be a donkey today. <laughs>